So the more I look at this switch and the instructions that came with it, the more I realize I believe it's absolutely incorrect. First of all, let me point out. The pink and the black wire are relatively short, okay? Now, most users would want to put this switch uh, in a, a small door on the side of the camper. And so you need a longer run to the battery. That would make sense. We got longer wires here, a red and a black. However, the instructions distinctly say... The pink wire with the fuse goes to the battery, and the black wire goes to the battery. That's the way I had it wired. Okay, that's the way I had it wired. However, if I look at this switch, you see the pink is on the top and goes to the positive side of the battery. Okay, the pink is on the top. And then the black wire is supposed to go to the battery. Well, the black wire is on the center. This black wire here that goes supposed to go to the battery is on the center. It does not go into the bottom like that. What the heck? You screw this up. First of all, I think the instructions are totally wrong. I think these longer wires are supposed to go to the battery. And I think the pink and the black is supposed to go to the motor. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook it up exactly like it's supposed to be. I'm going to power it up with my power supply back here. And we're going to check the voltage coming out of the black and red wire. Supposedly, the black and red wire goes to the motor. I don't think that's correct. I think some idiot put these instructions together here. We're gonna find okay, out. Okay, so we got our, our power supply here. We're running into the pink and the black wire, which I don't think is correct. It's a short wire. So just so, so you understand, because these are the short wires, that means that the switch, it's gonna be difficult to mount the switch near the little door on the driver's side of the camper, okay? All right, so we got our, our volt ohm meter hooked up here, and it's reading the zero or thereabouts, okay? So when we push the, um, one of these switches, we should see voltage. We should see positive voltage one way and negative the other. So I'm gonna push the retract button and looky there, we have a positive 13 volts. That's about what I have going in, so regardless, okay? Now, that should reverse when I push this. I'm going to push this, extend, and it's zero. Now, I haven't checked it yet, but I suspect it's a dead short because that's what's causing the fuse to burn. So we'll, we'll, let me see here if it's fuse is burning. Okay, so I've swapped these two black bat switches, uh, wires here. And so I have no power here, well, other than a few millivolts here. See if I can hold the switch here at the same time. So I'm going to push the extend, excuse me, the retract button. Now we've got positive 13.11 volts. Now we'll push the extend button. Now we have negative. Amazing. You know how many hours I've wasted on this because somebody didn't put the wire in the right place? Come on, e-trailer. Man. Okay, I want to summarize. So I, I did one other change here. So, like I see, the black and red wire 
the instructions say those are the ones that go to the motor. However, they are the longest. And typically on a camper, your battery is uh, quite a ways away from your motor. So these should be longer, like they are, okay? The pink and the black wire, the shortest, should go to the motor. I think these instructions are totally wrong, okay? They're totally wrong. I think this should be pink and black, and uh, these should be reversed, okay? So <clears throat> I tried that. So I'm powering up the red and black wire. Got my power over there. And let's see if I can hold this switch here again. And obviously this will work as it did before. Just reverse through the wiring here. So we got, I'm gonna extend and it will go a negative 13.13 volts. And I retract. Positive. Okay. So, e tray come on, get your get your stuff together here. Uh, customers ev evidently are doing your uh, engineering work here for you. Um, I uh, di very disappointed uh, at the quality of uh, the product here. So. I hope that you can take this and, and improve the product. 